what am I gonna do with that? Hey, look at that. Put this color right here. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I guess I'm just really excited for Valentine's Day because I have very like girly pink sort of favorites this week. I was decorating for Valentine's Day in our home, so I'm just excited for Valentine's Day. So I got some girly pinky favorites this week and some really good things to share. So let's get to it. First off, I really hadn't played with my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette in quite a while. So I picked it back up and I've been loving it this week. Really, really enjoying it. Mainly this shade and this shade and a little bit of this shade. And I actually have a little bit of this on my eyes. I have something else on my lids that I'm about to share with you. But I think this was kind of like a standout this week. Cause just a little bit of that pink in the crease and outer corner just really adds something fun to a look. And then also this purpley shade. So let me show you just a couple swatches. Let me actually get the right color swatched. I went for the wrong one to begin with there. <laughs> Okay, so here are some shades. I mean, look at that pink. That is a fun time. So pretty, so pigmented. It really does look like the shade in the palette that you would go, what am I gonna do with that? But if you just kind of put it a little bit in your eye look, it just adds something a little bit fun, you know? It's just a little bit fun. So these right here are really nice, subtle, transition shades so I feel like it just makes this really soft very girly eye look it's so pretty and then a little bit of that in the outer corner oh loved it so there were certain days this week that I was definitely going like minimal makeup for sure so I do have one minimal makeup favorite or actually two minimal makeup favorites but the days that I did my makeup and like did more involved eye looks this is what I was playing with so Really, really enjoying this palette. I think it's so cute. It just makes me happy to look at because it's girly and it's sweet and it's pink and it's just fun. Then what I have on my lids, oh my goodness, y'all. I feel like you might really need this pigment because it is so beautiful, unique, duochrome girly, just really, really fun. I love it so much. It's one of the Inglot AMC Pure Pigment Eyeshadows, and this is in 111. So it's this kind of like pinky lavender, duochrome situation, but it has a little bit of like gold in it almost too. Like I can see it on my eyes and it has this like pink purple shift, but then also this golden shift to it, which just makes it incredible. Oh my gosh. Hey, look at that. Totally stained my fingers there with those shadows. So you know that that's gonna last on your eyes. So just FYI, the chocolate bonbons last well on your eyes, but we already need that. So anyway, here is this shadow or pigment. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. I feel like in this swatch, well, no, totally just fooled me. I just got fooled by the pigment. I was looking down at it I was like, I feel like in this swatch it looks golden, but then I lifted it up, looked in the mirror, and I see purple and pink. So, it's just amazing. It is so gorgeous. I always apply this foiled. I always use MAC Fix Plus, just because, you know, it's gonna, it does fall out. I mean, it's, it's a loose sort of a pigment, and it's, um, I don't want to say flaky because that sounds bad, but I mean, it's a loose eye product. So you're going to want something for it to adhere to. So a sticky base, MAC Fix Plus, something like that. So that's how I use it. And I just love it. I don't notice like fallout on my face throughout the day. It's just when I'm applying it, if I get too much, it will fall out on your face. So use a sticky base, use Fix Plus or a mixing medium. Don't use too much. And I think you're going to love it because it's amazing. So I've still been working through trying out new at the drugstore goodies for y'all, so more videos are coming, so watch for those. But I've been trying out some new things from Flower Beauty, and I really, really enjoyed this this week. This is one of the Flower Pots Powder Blushes, and this is in Warm Hibiscus. And this is just a gorgeous, duochrome sort of a shade. I do have this on today, but I have it on with something else and I feel like they pair so nicely together. And I kind of wondered if they were going to pair nicely together. 
Why did I struggle with that? <laughs> I did wonder if they were going to pair nicely together and they did work together. So this is the blush I'm wearing. I'll talk about the other thing in just a second. But this is very kind of like a NARS orgasm sort of a color. It's like a bright peachy pink with like a golden shift to it. Oh my goodness, it pairs in with that eye look because it has that little golden shift to it. Yes, so, so fun. This is buttery and creamy and a really nice texture. It's easy to work with. It doesn't stick, um, like it doesn't stick in one place. It's easy to blend, wears well, love it. It's adorable in the packaging. I mean, I love, I love little attentions to detail and I'm always happy about a flower shaped blush. This is just cute. And the highlighter that I'm wearing today, if you watch my new at the drugstore where I showed this one, you'll know how much I already love this. This is one of the NYX Duochromatic Illuminating Powders. Oh my goodness. This one is in Lavender Steel and it's amazing. And it's really kind of similar to the eyeshadow, but more purpley. That shadow is still there. <laughs> I think I need to work a little bit harder at getting that off my fingers, but still testing out the longevity of it, I guess, just inadvertently. We weren't even trying to do that, but it's still there. The pink shadow is still there. Okay, back to this highlighter. So it kind of reminds me of the eyeshadow, but it's less of a golden shift. It's more of a lavender pink, like a light white lavender pink, but it still has that kind of like duochrome amazingness to it. Oh my goodness. It's incredible. I've tried some of their highlighters in the past from NYX, like their, I don't remember what they were called, but their other highlighters and I like them okay, but I feel like the formula on this is a lot better than those. So I feel like they did something to kind of improve on it somehow. Cause these just really seem to blend better and have a really, really nice texture to them. Somebody was asking me, I think they were asking me to compare this with Makeup Geek. I think it was this they were asking about. Anyway, just a little side note to compare this to Makeup Geek. I definitely might like the Makeup Geek Duochromes better. I feel like the formula of those is just amazing like a perfect formula that they just are so like buttery and soft and blendable this is very very nice but has a little bit more of like a tackiness to it it's not tacky but you know what i mean like a a thickness to the formula so i like the makeup geek ones more but this is a little bit more affordable so that's just a little side note comparing the two but this color right here this color is amazing. Now on to lips. If you watched my last week's Friday favorites, y'all know that I wasn't feeling well. And thank you so much for all your well wishes. You guys are just always so incredibly sweet to me. So thank you for all your well wishes. I did have a cold. I wasn't feeling well for several days and just wasn't feeling like a lot of makeup, if any makeup at all. If I was just home and resting, I wasn't wearing makeup, but my lips were incredibly chapped. You guys know how a cold goes, you know, you're blowing your nose, you're breathing through your mouth. It's super glamorous <laughs> and your lips just get so chapped or at least mine always do. So I kept grabbing for this and this was such a lifesaver. This is the It Cosmetics Vitality Lip Flush and this is in Je Ne Sais Quoi. And this is like one of those kind of clear type lip products but then um, it reacts to, I guess your natural pH level or something and it kind of creates this like pinky sort of a tone on your lips, but it's really subtle. And this is just kind of like a, an added bonus. Like the color is just kind of an added bonus to it because it's incredibly hydrating and just like a good lip treatment. So I was using this a lot. It was really, really helping my lips. I think it's such a nice product. I was trying to remember, I can't fully smell still, but I feel like it has like a light like a really subtle cherry scent to it. So I remember liking the scent, but I really can't smell it right now. So it's so subtle, I, I really can't smell it, but I think it smells good, but I really like the product. And this lipstick is one of my favorites to grab for when I'm just wanting really kind of like easy, quick makeup. And also something that will go with a lot of different makeup looks. This is a great, just neutral lip color. This is one of the Milani color statement lipsticks. This is in Dolce Caramello. Dolce Caramello. That's my best try. <laughs> so it's kind of like a nude 
with a little bit of like a peachy tint to it and a little bit of like a sheen. It's really, really pretty. So it's got this kind of like duochrome look to it. Really gorgeous, very comfortable on the lips. It's kind of like a cream sort of a finish to it. Like it feels like a cream, looks like a cream, but then has a little bit of that duochrome. So yeah, that's one of my like favorites to grab for. It goes with everything, but also I like this like, if you just like either throw on a one shadow look or just your bronzer in your crease, some mascara, you want an easy lip color, this is a great one to grab for, but also it works with a really dramatic smoky eye too. Then the combo that I'm wearing on my lips right now is this one. I actually didn't wear this this week. This is the first time for me to wear this lip liner with this gloss. I wore this gloss by itself this week and really loved it, but just decided to throw on the liner today and I feel like it works really well with it. This is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Silver Lilac, so it's kind of like a purpley sort of a pink. It's really, really pretty. Let me try to do like it where I kind of layer them. I mean, you can see I'm layered on my lips, but I'll try to do it on my hand as well. And then this is um, from Jessie's Girl. This is one of the liquid glass lip glosses, and this is in idyllic. They sent me a really sweet box of like a bunch of different things to try out from them, and this is definitely a standout to me. I love this gloss. Oh my gosh. So it's it's really pretty sheer. It's pretty much a sheer gloss, but then it has like micro shimmer in it, like pink micro shimmer. Ooh, I love it. Now, if you don't like shimmer, you won't like this gloss, but if you like shimmer, you'll love it. And the thing is, I cannot feel the shimmer at all on my lips. It's so finely milled. It's really, really tiny shimmer. So it's not like an uncomfortable glittery gloss. It just has this beautiful sheen to it. Ooh, love it. So that's a liner, that's a gloss by itself, and that's the combo of the two. Really, really like them. But again, on those like easy, like no makeup days, I just, you know, I don't know, was one kind of, you don't feel good. So you're like, let me put on this really like fun, glittery looking gloss and just kind of lift my spirits. I always do that. Like that's just, I put on a bright shirt or I put on a, a bright lip color, you know what I mean, just something. But I didn't want to go all out with my makeup. So I grabbed for the fun, glittery, Barbie looking lip gloss and just loved it. And side bonus to it, it smells really good. Like cupcakes or cookies or something. And there's a real loud plane going overhead. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not too much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.